Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I welcome you, all of you for your another class for small and medium enterprise. Uh, in this session we will discuss uh, best management practices for small and medium enterprises in order to have a successful management. Uh, we'll go through some seven and eight points. So uh, it's very, very important for an uh, owner as a business man or as a business lady that you should know all these practices and you should apply it in the management. Uh, before starting this session, let's uh, talk about a little bit about quality. What do we mean by quality products? Uh, as you can see that in most of the countries, the companies are trying to produce quality product in low price. Now, as uh, if we consider our country, Afghanistan, most of the products are very low quality. Most of the people are complaining regarding the quality of the products. If it is cosmetics, if it's uh, any other products, medicine, uh, if it's uh, clothes, everything, watch. Uh, if we think the quality of these products are very, very low. So that's why most of the customers are dissatisfied from the companies. Uh, if you compare developed world, they are having very quality products, even in cheaper price, because the competition is very, very high. So quality play a very, very key role in business, uh, in success of a business as well. I'm sure most of you are using iPhone or any other phone. The reason might be, I, I, I assume it's quality of the product why you're using iPhone. So that's very, very important. So quality play a key role in customer satisfaction, in customer retention, in all of them. So if you think uh, in restaurant, if we let's just take test McDonald, uh, KFC, uh, all of these restaurants, most of them are famous regarding their quality of products. Uh, iPhone. Uh, they are trying to meet the needs and wants of their customer as well. Time is changing. Uh, I think I have explained to you Cinerix and now we don't have Cinerix and because they couldn't compete in the market. If the quality of your product is not good, if your customer is not satisfied, you cannot uh, do business for a long time. Your company will fail because of low quality product because of maybe in some countries you see a uh, standard, international standard organization, ISO 9000, these are quality standards which you need to have for your products. So most of our people are complaining because of low quality products that we are having in Afghanistan. They are not good for health if you are buying them. Let's say for example if you buy paracetamol, here in Kabul and if you buy paracetamol in UK or any other European country, there is a very, very big difference between the, the quality of both products. So that's the main thing. Secondly, uh, sometimes why companies are offering low quality product because of their uh, purchasing power. In Afghanistan, most of the people are poor, they can't afford to buy expensive, good, high quality product. But in most of the cases, the uh, products are same. It's uh, it's for uh, poor people as well. Let's say I give you an example. Uh, I bought a face cream in UAE, United Arab Emirates. I think it it cost me around 140 Afghanis. But the same cream was around 200 Afghanis here in Kabul. But the quality was far, far worse than what I bought in Dubai. So that's the main thing. Here, there is no proper standard check that all these products are coming to the market in Afghanistan are checked by a quality standard organization that, uh, or any uh, committee or machines or whatever that these are good quality products. Let's say medicine. There are thousands of examples we are having. Dress t-shirts, pants, uh, watch, everything that you see are not according to the standards, international standards. That's why it's very, very important to know the quality of management, best quality management as well, to know the best quality product as well. So 
the main important point is now let's come to management practices management practice is how an organization is working how people are working in the organization how is the relationship between the employees and the CEO or the owner of the company how is the employees the relationship of employees among themselves how is the relationship of manager with the employees these are all uh, important issue need, uh, in the business uh, the main thing is a uh, leader is not someone uh, who just push an employee or something uh, to force an employee to do a job but the main thing is in order to have a very successful organization a leader needs to be very very motivative he needs he or she needs to motivate their employees their team in order to uh, achieve the goals and uh, objectives of the company uh, in order most of the time if you ask an employee they are uh, they are not happy from the organization they say the behavior of manager is not good uh, if you work hard they are not uh, satisfied from your work they don't motivate you they don't uh, give you any bonus or anything so these are the issues that m reduce the results of an uh, employee if uh, if a company has a very successful manager motivator friendship everything employees are working hard they want to achieve their goals needs uh, goals and objective of the company they are working in a happy environment business environment play a very key role in the final results if employees are not happy from the company if employees are not happy from the manager if employees are not happy from other employees inside the organization they feel bored they cannot work hard they are not motivated they say it's boring or oh, again i need to go to that company it's like forcing you are forcing the employee to work uh, hard that's not the way of achieving the goals and objective of a company but in order to have a greatest result in order to achieve what you are looking for in order to achieve the uh, needs and wants of customer in order to achieve the objectives goals and objective of the company you need to follow a best management practice in order to motivate your employees in order to reuse less resources and have greater outcome that's very important you need to as a business you need to invest less money and have more profit same thing in uh, employees as well so in companies sometimes if you see some employees they are leaving a company they are going uh, to another company leaving a company employees are leaving a company will have a big impact on the company cost what do we mean by this you are recruiting a new employee you are training him or her you spend time on her you give them training workshop everything finally they are not happy to leave your company so you must go and advertise again in different platform pay them money shortlist interview final check documentation exam again you train them and they leave your company that's that's not a good idea because it will increase the cost of your company because employees are not happy so that's why if we think in afghanistan if you ask most of them uh, some people they are not happy from their boss some people are not happy from their manager they say there is a uh, what do you mean not good behavior there is racism culture issue language issue all these issues are disturbing an employee they are like demotivating them to work hard so if you have a very peaceful environment uh, you are having a very good friendly environment everyone is working hard so the final result uh, of course the final result will be far far better so these are few best practices which we need to follow up in our management in order to have a successful management in order to have a quality management uh, inside the company and also in order to achieve the needs and wants of the customer and also in order to achieve the um, goals and objectives of the company that's very important vision what's the vision 
So in order to achieve the vision and mission in all these uh, elements of a company, we need to have a very best practice inside the company. So all these employees are need are needs to have a proper training. We need to respect them, and there are many other elements of a company as well. So we'll go through one by one uh, how many employees we have. Sorry how many practices which we need to do. There are many different ways in order to um, satisfy your employees. So I have collected some research. I have done some research and I have collected I think around eight points or seven points. So we'll discuss this. You can go through different techniques as well. There are different other ways as well to achieve the satisfaction of your employees. Now, first one, engage workers. What do you mean by engaging workers? Some workers, some employees, they just care about their money. They just think, okay, it's, uh, I just want salary, that's it. I don't care what's happening in the company. I don't want uh, anything. So you will face, when you start your company, you will face different employees some of them are just coming for money. They say, okay, I get my salary, I don't care what's happening in the company. Company is meeting their needs and wants or not, they are achieving their vision or not, they are achieving their goals and objectives or not, they don't care. But that's, that's the main challenging role of a manager. The first thing a manager needs to find is find out how to make his employee care about the company's vision. That's the task of manager. You recruited a company, uh, sorry, uh, an employee. You've done an interview. Now the, the first step is for the manager to explain the objective vision and mission of the company. These are the mission of the company. These are the vision. That's how we, these are objectives. These are tasks which we need to do. Now, you need to give them an idea that they should feel like this is their own company. They should care about their job responsibility. Now, there are different ways of this, but there are different techniques that people are using to find out, uh, to engage workers. Now, what do you mean by engaging workers? Manager, can ask an idea from their employees. Sometimes new employees are having a very good idea. They are new, freshly graduated, they have new knowledge, they are updated, their knowledge is latest knowledge, they know about the market, customer and everything. So they need to ask, uh, a manager need to ask them regarding new idea, Now, if you are engaging an employee in the company, you are giving him a big role, like you are giving him responsibility. یو دیر ملګرتیا ماحول تاسو جوړوئ تاسو د هغه هغه داسې یو احساس کوئ چې زه کمپنۍ لپاره ارزښت لرم یعنې د هغه د قابلیت تاسو احساس کوئ چې دا د کارمند ډېر زیات قابله دی ډېر زیات لایقه دی او ډېر با استعداده یو ځوان دی نو هغه کله چې تاسو ده ته دا احساس ورکوئ نو هغه هم ډېر ته پوهېږي چې ته باید د کمپنۍ هدف څه شی دی زه باید کمپنۍ هدف ته ځان ورسوم ما باید په هدف کمپنۍ کې دواړه باید مشن و ویژنی که دارن ما باید به او برسیم وقتی شما از استعداد یک کارمندتان استقبال میکنیم او را تشویق میکنیم بازی کارا را برشان میسپاریم بالایشان اعتماد میکنیم این خود یک نشان دهنده ای است به یک کارمند که اداره بالایشان اعتماد دارن اداره از استعدادشان استقبال میکنن از کارهای زحمتهایشان اداره استقبال میکنن مثلا اگر شما در اگه داری کار میکنین زحمت میکشین صادقانه کار میکنین ولی ما از صداقت خصوص استفاده میکنن از کارتان خوش نیستن راضی نیستن 
همیشه کوشش میکنم تحقیق کنم در مقابل کارمندهای دیگر خودتان احساس بسیار پایین میکنید از اداره خوش نیستید یا کمپانی را رها میکنید یا آمو کاری که میکنید از دل نمیکنید مقصد میگید که ماش مدیدی رو مهر چیز که میشه من در قصه کمپانی نیستم همیجا است که این وظیفه یک مدیر است که چطور میتونه یک کارمند به خود تشویق بایی کنند احساس برشان بتن که شما به کمپانی بسیار ارزش دارید از استودیو شما استقبال میشن از کار کرده شما استقبال میشن هیچ چیز چیشون پت نیست مثلا هر کاری که شما میکنید مدیر از اون خبر است از کارهای خوب بتان شما را تشویق میکنند و کارهایی که خراب میکنند و بایدان همکاری میکنند بخش ترینین و همه چیز داشت این خود کارمند یک احساس میتونه که ما باید در کمپانی از از سبق دل کار کنم یعنی در زده نکار کنم در بند So that's how you need to engage your workers you need to engage your employees in different aspects sometimes you know that employees are giving very very good idea یعنی بعضی وقتا کارمندا بسیار نظریات خوب دارن به یک کمپنی فکر کنین مدیر فکرش نمیشه به یک مثلا ولی یک کارمند میه یک مشکل دیش آمد مثلا به یک کمپنی مدیر نمیتونه رای حل ولی ده کارمند داره اگر ده کارمند در جمع کنم برشان بوده شما کارمند های از این کمپنی است بینده این مشکل دیش آمد این رای حل شد چی است حتما ده ده نفر یک نفر رای حل مقبول برشان پشنهاد میکنم که در این بخش باید کار شد و امون رای حل پیش ببرد یک مشروری است که باید احساس کنند کارمند ها باید کسی احساس کنند که کمپنی از این ها است یعنی بسیار دوستان هم باشند و ها و جایی که بسیار جاها شما اگر سروی کنید که چرا کارمند ها از کمپنی خوش نیستند از محل کاری که کار میکنند خوش نیستند بسیار چیزهای از لامل های هستند که کمپانی یعنی کارمندا از این خوش نیستن که در اون کمپانی کار کنن مثلا تاسوب است تاسوبات قومی است زبانی است لسانی است تاسوبات قومیت است کشورها هستن طبیعت هایی هستن دیگه خودش یا مثلا از زحمات کارمندا سو استفاده میشه تشویق نمیشن بسیار مشکلاتی هستن که یعنی خود کارمند دل سرد میکنه که باید در اون کمپانی کار نکنه خسته میشن از کار کردن در اون کمپنی یعنی اهر روزه اما روزه اگر میرن بسیار به نظریه جدید نمیرن فکر میکنن در این کمپنی کار کردن بسیار جای شما حتما دیدین اگر میگنین میگه در این داره کار کردن هیچ فایده نداره چرا میگن هر چقدر کوشش کنین ولی هیچ فایده نداره همین قسم به صفت استاز من قسم است اگر شاگردهایشان کار میکنن زحمت میکشن درس میخوانن خوب نتیجه میگیرن اسایمنت های شانسی است مثلا در سنف اشتراک میکنن یه خودش باید استاس تشویق کنه شابه دارد تا در این بخش بفهمن I give you one example When I was studying in a bachelor degree our lecturer was asking questions what do you think about this what do you think about engaging workers so now we have offline online sessions so I can't ask you what do you think So if we have offline classes, I'm sure I will ask each and everyone, what do you think about engaging worker in all this? What is your mind is saying? So it doesn't matter even if you are wrong, or even we, if we were wrong, our lecturer was saying, no, it's not like that, it's like this. He never said you are wrong. Because we, are, we were in learning position. Now you are in learning position as well. If you ask you what do you think about engaging workers, what do you think? That's it. Just say your idea even if it's wrong it's fine don't worry because you are here to study and to learn something so now i don't want to go away from the topic engaging workers is very very important uh, as we can see performance attracting fresh talent to the company you are attracting new talents new employees So if your behavior is not good with them, if your company environment is not good, if your working environment is not good, <laughs> there are many other things in working environment. There's health and safety, there's safety, uh, everything involved. So if all of them are not good, what will happen? It will definitely have negative impact on your company. So that's another important point.
नेक्स्ट वन रिवार्ड एफर्ट्स नाउ रिवार्डिंग एन एम्प्लॉयी इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वट यू मीन बाई इफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू आर वर्किंग इन अ कंपनी दे डोंट केयर वॉट यू आर डूइंग दे डेन रिकोगनाइज यूर अचीवमेंट दे डोंट थिंक दे डोंट रिकोगनाइज यूर हार्ड वर्क सो वॉट विल हार्ट आफ्टर फ्यू टाइम फ्यू मंथ्स यू विल फील बोर यू वोट वर्क हार्ट फॉर दे मज वन बिकॉज दे डोंट रिकोगनाइज यूर हार्ड वर्क यानी जहमत है कि शुमो में कशिन वो एच एच एहसास ना में कहने के लिए भी कारमंद में भी सियार जहमत कशस हम कारमंद है खुदा पैक नजर में मिलन वाले बाजी कारमंदों ने वाह में अनकार सही ना में कहना वाले एक कारमंद है कि वाह में कार खुदा बाबा हम जो में तनाजुरियत हो खूब दौरा जहमत कशस सादिक है बाद जो तस्वीर चाहो बाद � شما بسیار زحمت کش هستیم تشکر به که به خاطر کمپانی کار میکنید تا او را تشویق به این زحمت شون کنید سو دس از ویری ویری امپورتنت لیتس سی اف یو ورک ان ا کمپانی دی گیو یو ا سالری ان دس ایت بٹ اف یو ورک ان ادر کمپانی دی گیو یو ا سالری ان دی تیل یو تھینک یو ویری مچ یو ار اور یو ار ویری ٹیلنٹڈ امپلائیز اف دس کمپانی وی ٹرسٹ ان یو وی ار ویری ہیپی فرام یو So this will motivate you. And if you enjoy karmic in most of the migrant hitchiness, while you enjoy the karmic in the company, may I back on the Tashakura Shumo, Shumo Bissorek Jawan, by Sedada Simba Company, Bissor Zahmat Mikashin, Bissorek Jawan, Sada Kuzahmat Kashasin, Ma Karait on a Mimini, Mwazi Kadir Doni Mikan Yakta Shakuri, Bissor for Wali by a Karman Bissore Jumli for Monas, Doni Wara Esos with a Tashuk Mission. همیشه کوشش کنند به نظریات ناو احساس خوشی کنند در یک کمپانی بسیار جای هستند که کمپانی مشتری ها دو بخشین کارمندا شکایت میکنند به خاطر از اینکه هر قدر زحمت بکشن وقتی ابرش هم نمیچینیم میگم ما به خاطر از اینکه کمپانی بسیار زحمت کشیدیم شب و روز کار میکنیم ولی هیچ ارزش نداشت هیچ فایده نداشت همین قسم هر کارمند اگر دل سرد شو از کمپانی کمپانی نمیتونه به هدفی که داره برسه. So what do you mean thanks for a good job well done makes employee feel valued? It seems like an obvious point, but often business management training overlooks the positive impact of appreciation. So this is very very simple. They are rewarding your employees with different. There are different ways of rewarding your employees. Uh, you can reward your employees with bonus. You can reward them for a project. You can reward them with uh, maybe hiring. If they are assistant manager, you can make him a manager position. Improvement. Uh, there are many different aspects of uh, business which you need to talk about. Employees are uh, what we uh, we think employees are backbone of a company. They work hard, so they need to be rewarded. If There are two ways. We are talking about best management practice, so that's why we need to talk about reward. There is one reward and another is punishment. If an employee is not following the rules and regulation policies of the company, what will happen? They will have definitely punishment, warning letter, or they might terminate, the contract might be terminated. So rewarding an employee play a very key role. Uh, I'm sure if you work, when you start work, you will feel this. Yani, وقتی که شما یک جای کار شروع کنین باز شما احساس میکنین یک جای کار میکنین مدیر تان بیشتر تشویق تان میکنه بیشتر خوب شما بیشتر کارمند خوب استن دواخ من با استعداد استن از کارهای شما قدردانی میکنه خودشان اینمی خود روحیه با یک کارمند یک روحیه را میده که احساس میکنه که تو نیست که ما زحمت میکشم زحمت ما در میره یا کسی احساس نمیکنه که چقدر زحمت ما میکشم ولی زحمات که شما میکشین باید کمپانی از او قدردانی کنه وقتی که قدردانی میکنه خود با کارمن یک احساس میته و تشویق میشه ما اینده یا سال اینده دیگه هم کوشش میکنه تا بهتر از سال پیش باشه و اگر هر چقدر کوشش کنه و ریوارد نشه و کمپانی در فکرشان نباشه و ایچ احساسی قدردانی یا احساسی برشان نتن 
کارمند دل سرت میشن یعنی کارمند به فکر کی چه دا سمر زحمت و باسی هیز دن سو یو نید تو ریوارد امپلائیز دیر آر دیفرین ویس ایس سید دن یو کن ریوارد یور امپلائیز یو کن گیف دیم بونس یو کن انکریز دیر سالری یو کن گیف دیم حالی دی پی یو کن گیف دیم حالی دی پاکیج یو کن گیف دیم سم لیو یو کن گیف دیم انشورنس واتیور دیر آر دیفرین ویس آف ریواردنگ یور امپلائیز ان سم کمپنیز وات دی دو ایف یو اچیف دیور تاسک یو اچیف دی گولز ان ابجیکٹیو آف دی کمپنی اسپیشلی ان یوروپ دی گیو پیڈ حالی دی like one week in Egypt, one week in Dubai, or one week this, all the expenses are on, on the company. So what they do, they in order to motivate their employees, they say, okay, this guy work hard, they achieve the goals and objective of the company, uh, so we need to give them some. Some companies are trying to give them bonus. Let me give you example. I'm managing, uh, let's say, director or general manager of Qamar Charity in Qamar Institute in Afghanistan. You can check them on Facebook or whatever, you will find it. Last, this Ramadan, we have given 5,000 bonus for our each employees. Why? Because of their hard work they have done in whole month of Ramadan. We were distributing food packs in different provinces. They were running from here, there, day and night they were working. So we recognize their hard work, so we give them a bonus. So that's very important. You must recognize the needs and wants of your customers. You must recognize the achievements of your employees, their hard work, mm, their punctuality, their honesty. You must recognize them, that which of your employees, which of them is very honest, which one is coming regularly, which one is working in order to achieve the needs and wants, goals and objective of the company, which one is following the policies of the company. So these are very, very important point which we need to write. If you become a manager in the company, you must follow these rules. You must recognize their efforts, you must reward them with bonus, with thank you, whatever you do. In some countries, they give send a letter, thank you letter, from the company. Let's say you are working in a company, let's say you are working in a Lokose, they recognize that you are a very hard work lady or a hard work boy or a hard work employee. Uh, they send you a thank you letter to your home. They write, thank you very much, Mr. Ahmad, for your hard work of the company, we recognize this. So why they do this? In order to motivate their employees. And uh, total quality management, uh, I think in next eight semester you will study. That's uh, feedback. I'm sure you will have a feedback from your customer feedback. So why they want companies want to know the feedback of their customers? That's why that they, they want to know what the customer is feeling about their product, what the customer feels about their company, what they feel about their uh, services, whatever. So same thing will happen in employees as well. So in order to find out employees are happy from the company or not, are they satisfied from the company, uh, and there are different aspects as well. So companies are taking regular so the the main important point i said is if you want to start your company in order to have a successful management in order to have a friendly environment you need to follow some of these points uh, for your company yani taso bayat khpal de karmandano istedaduna band poshi da agi chumra zahmat bas istaso company la par taso bayat ehsas agi to work kare تاسو باید تری مننه او کری چاگی سوم راست تاسو کمپانی لپار زحمت باسی مننه مختی میول چی پو مختلف طریق او که ده تاسو کولش او تا خط و لیگی تاسو کولش ماش زیاد که تاسو کولش او تا بونس ور که تاسو کولش چی رود به زیاد که یا مختلف طریقی دی چی کمپانی گانی مختی اولی خبل کارمندان او تا ترسو چی آقا کم حدف چی دی لری نگواری چی خبل کارمندان نلا سوار که most of the companies they don't want to lose their talented employees yani karmandai ki waqian ba istedad asan bishar company hai asan ke na mekhan karmandai ba istedad khuda as nisbatan ba khatir ziki 
و احساس میکنن که یک کارمند چقدر ارزش داره و چقدر تاثیر میگذاره بالا یک اداره فکر کنید یک مدیر بسیار کامیاب بسیار با تجربه در کمپانی کار میکنه ولی وقتی که از رهبری کمپانی خوش نبود مدیریت رها میکنن تا که یا یک مدیر دیگر اعلان به اعلان میتن در اخبار اعلان میکنن یک کم کس پیدا میکنن او مدیر می او رو ترین میکنن بسیار مصرف داره بالا یک کمپانی و او مدیر باز نتونه که همه کارها رو به طریقی درستش پیش ببره ای خودش به کمپانی یک توان اقتصادی است و یک مشکل بسیار کلان است که کمپانی ها امرایشان رو برو میشن دیگه بخاطر از این کمپانی ها نمیخواین که یک کارمند با استعداد خود از دست بتن ولی بعضی وقت کارمند ها خسته میشن بخاطر از این پیش در برتان گفتم که قدر دانیشان نمیشن یا مشکلات در اداره هستن که کارمنده مجبور می سازه تا از کمپانی رخصت بگیره تا از کمپانی رخصت بگیره و به کمپانی دیگه بته یا استفا بته چرا که نمیتونه اون کارا که می خواین پیش ببرن سو دس ویر امپورتن سو وی دسکس تو پوائنٹس Engage workers, best management practice, engage workers, that's very, very important in order to achieve your goals and objective, in order to achieve your vision, you need to engage your worker. It will give them the productivity increase, they will work hard. So next one, reward efforts, you must recognize efforts and achievements of your employees. You must recognize their hard work, you must recognize their honesty, you must recognize the way they are working, you must motivate them, you must give them thank you, whatever I have discussed before. So this is another point. Next point is seek clarity. Now, there is problems companies are facing nowadays are the communication between different managers. So if you have production manager, marketing manager, HR manager, finance manager, and different manager, the communication between them are very, very important. If they are not properly trained, if they don't know. So if they are not uh, aware of the company, objective company vision if they're uh, not properly communicated with each other there is an issue between manager disputes fight or whatever it will definitely have a negative impact on the company so alignment company needs to focus on alignment of core principle by asking the following six questions these are following six important questions a company needs to ask a manager let's say why do we exist so simple, why do we exist in this market? What's our purpose? What's our vision? What's our mission? What's our goals and objective? So all these managers need to understand that these are our goals and objective, and uh, this is how we need to achieve them. So if they don't cooperate with each other, if they don't know what are the needs and wants of the customer, what are their needs and wants of their employees, what are the objective, vision, and mission of the company, I'm sure they can't work properly, they can't achieve them. How do we behave? Okay, simple, how do we behave with each other? Manager's behavior amongst themselves, among employees, um, with suppliers, with the customers, with the government, with other institutions, with the uh, competitors, these are uh, different behaviors which you need to think about it. What do we do? It's simple, what's our task? daily task, how will we succeed, there are ways, how we need to succeed the company, how we need to have a successful company, there are certain policies, rules and regulation which need to follow in order to have a successful company. So if, if there is a dispute between the manager, if there is a problem, there is a working environment is not good, there is a racism in all these issues, it, this will dishearten the employees. So what will happen? They won't achieve the goals in, they, they can't follow the policy. 
یعنی هدف که دارن نور نمیتونن کامیاب شون به خاطر که مشکلات اداری داخل کمپانی است مدیرا هم را یکی دیگه جور نیستن تاسبات قومی است یا مشکلات دارن یا با هم هماهنگی نمیکنن یا نمیدانن که هدف کمپانی چی است ویژن و میشن شون چی است چی میخواد کمپانی چطور میتونین کمپانی را پیش ببرین یا کامیاب کنین این مشکلات است what is important right now so in company you need to write down the important task so یعنی اولویت بتین اولویت بندی کنین که کدام کارها بسیار اولویت داره دیدلاین شان چی است مثلا شما اگر امتحان تا نزدیک شوه شما باید اولویت میتین که امتحان ما نزدیکت باید در درس بخونین کدام مضمون اول است او را اولویت میتین نمیشه که مثلا مضمون فکر کنین اسی میتون امتحان اول تا اسی می است امتحان آخر تا یک مضمون دیگه است شما او را اول میخونین نمیشه شما اولویت با مضمونی میتین که اول است امتحان شو یا سخت است بسیار درس خواندن سخت است یا مثلا کانتینگ تون سخت است اولویت به اون میتین زیاد وقت تون در او تقسیم میکنین سو so دیز چیزای مهم هستن در کمپانی هم چنان که باید کارهای شو تا بتونن که هدفی که کمپانی داره او را با آسانی به دست بیارن سو هو مس دو وات از وی سمپل کی باید کارا را کدام کار باید کی انجام بده مسئولیت کی است مسئولیت رئیس است مسئولیت مدیر منابع بشری است مسئولیت مدیر مالی است مسئولیت مدیر بازاریابی است کدام مسئولیت کی است هر کس باید مسئولیت خود درک کنه و در مبخش کار کنه without leader developing and sharing a clear sense of a company vision its value its strategic goal its delegation of responsibility the best business management education in the world won't matter because the company will lack purpose and direction it's very simple So if you don't know the, your vision, if you don't know the value of the company, you don't know the goals and objectives, you don't know the responsibility of your company, how much you are educated, you can't run the company. You can't go on because you are not going in the right direction. Yani the agroy is a page name. If you are in the past, you are in the past. پاس کنین سمستر شش برین شما نمیتونین سمستر هشت در سای شوالی بخوانین بگوین که ما از آل درس میخوانیم ولی سمستر پنج تانبان این در قصیش نسید نیجا ناکم شدین بس سمستر هشت معلوم دار که نمیسنین نمیتونین برسین لیدرشپ بسیار زیاد مهم است در کمپنی بسیار زیاد ارزش داره شما باید بفهمین ما چرا let's say why do we exist if we think personally let's think personally why do we exist in this world و چرا به این دنیا آمدیم؟ باید این سوال های است که ما از خود پرسان کنیم چی هدف داریم در دا دنیا؟ به چی خلق شدیم؟ چرا خدا آن ما را خلق کرده؟ چی کارهایی باید کنیم؟ چطور میتونیم در کمپانی بسیار ببخشیم؟ چطور در زندگی میتونیم کامیاب باشیم؟ همه چی سوال های هستن که شما در زندگی شخصی از خود پرسان کرده میتونیم و رای حل شد پیدا کرده میتونیم همه سوال های هست در کمپانی همچنان که باید دور پیدا کنیم پیدا کنن کمپانی و جوابش هم پیدا کنن و رای حل و رای پیشرفت کمپانی را هم مدیرا پیدا کنن سو وی وی ہیو ڈسکس 3 پوائنٹس ان دس سیشن وی ہیو ڈسکس انگیج ورکرز از ویری امپورٹنٹ دا نیکسٹ پوائنٹ واز ریوارڈ ایفرٹس وی نیڈ ٹو ریوارڈ اور امپلائیز وت بونس وت ہالیڈے پے وت with promotion in different different ways of thanking your employees the next one we have discussed see clarity so the alignment the relationship between uh, managers between employees between employees in the customers manager and employees amongst the employees this is very important so i hope you enjoyed this session Mm, so I, I request all of you to please uh, study hard, listen to the lecture, write notes. I will send you the slides because if we once we start our offline class, we will have I think maximum four weeks. In four weeks, it it will be very hard to cover all the subjects remaining topics as well. So I will I might try to review all these points. But I request all of you to study 
so there should be no time if we don't have time to clarify and review uh, each and every point so we'll go forward and finish our syllabus so i request you all again to please uh, read these slides read some books uh, this is according to your syllabus so if we start offline classes i might ask questions from different students so even if you have any question if you have any problem you don't understand please feel free to contact me send me a message send me an email so i will try to help you inshallah thank you very much